Today's video is going to be all about the rarest guinea pig noises and the existence of guinea pig noises. You've probably all heard a guinea pig weak or teeth chatter. Rumble strutting might be a little bit more rare if you've never had a group of pigs, but it's still a pretty common sound. So what are the rarest guinea pig sounds out there? I collected some and let's find out. Chirping. We're starting off with the rarest sound there is. It's really not a bad thing at all if you've never encountered the sound, even though you've kept guinea pigs as pets. You might have even heard it when you were half asleep and thought a bird was outside of your window. Chirping usually means a guinea pig is panicking or just very, very stressed. The situation doesn't have to be objectively threatening for a guinea pig in order for it to make the sound. Sometimes a guinea pig just falls asleep deeply while surrounded by the herd members and wakes up to find everyone has gone for a nap on the upper level. Cue a scared guinea pig thinking it's been left alone and chirping. Real story that happened to a baby guinea pig of ours. Chirping is super hard to distinguish from a bird making that sound outside it's, and it's probably one of the rarest sounds there is. This one's really not common because a couple of things need to happen in order for you to hear the sound. First of all, a situation has to be threatening enough for a guinea pig to produce the sound, while also not being threatening enough to warrant the chirping sound. Also, your guinea pig needs to be a little bit dramatic to make the sound. This is Lulu making the sound during an introduction. No guinea pig was touching her, but she felt uncomfortable with all of the new guinea pigs. Now listen to Gatsby letting out a super loud week. You can see that with both of these sounds, their mouth is wide open. However, you can clearly hear the difference in these sounds. Gatsby is showing the classic week for food at a very loud noise level. Lulu, on the other hand, is clearly stressed. You can hear that her squeak does not sound like a week for food, but rather shows clear unhappiness. When a guinea pig chirps, on the other hand, their mouth doesn't have to be wide open and they don't sound like a guinea pig at all, but go in full bird mode. The unique week. While you can usually easily distinguish between your guinea pig's weeks, there are guinea pigs which just have an extremely unique week, which doesn't sound like a regular guinea pig sound at all. This is somewhat rare, as only few guinea pigs have a unique sound. Whereas most guinea pigs sound similar, and only their owner is able to distinguish their sounds, there are sometimes piggies whose week is so out there that everyone notices. Listen to Nuggets and Gatsby's week. Now listen to minis. And that's what I mean with a unique week. I think Minnie's off-tone week speaks for itself. Also, even Minnie was weirded out by her week and her ears would always flap whenever she started weaking. Thumping. This is a sound that took us ages to figure out. We heard it mainly at night, a sun-loud thumping sound. While rabbits are known for thumping, guinea pigs aren't, so it took us a while to figure out that the sound originated from the guinea pig's enclosure. It turned out that it was Nugget scratching herself. She hit her heel on the floor every time that she completed the circular scratching motion. Turns out the other guinea pigs do that as well. You won't really find an explanation of this sound online, and I'm not sure if anyone else hears that as well. I do hear it with a couple of my guinea pigs, but I don't hear it with others. But I have more than one guinea pig who produces that sound. So I would consider that sound to be somewhat rare as well. 
These were a couple of rare guinea pig sounds. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if I missed something. And see you guys next time.